Riverside's John Schroeder, a sectional champion here at his home sectional. And, John, um, what's it mean to not only get a sectional championship, but to do it in front of your home crowd as well? It's nice. I mean, rough season, catching a lot of good kids. But, I mean, finally got a break and got some good matches in. Tell me about your day. Uh, just what was working for you? Any particular shots you were getting to or anything you felt like you were doing really well? Um, I felt like I was really good, doing a good job at defending shots and working off them and hitting those cradles and stuff. Walk me through your finals match against Niall Salazzo of Underwood. Uh, what do you think the difference maker was in that match? Um, well, it came out a little slow. I mean, he got a shot in, but I thought it should have been two, but it wasn't. But then, I don't know, I took him down and got that good chicken wing in. Next week, we're going to get to districts. Um, Hagen Houston, always a tough one from Logan Magnolia. I think Sam Kyle was the other qualifier. What's it going to take to at least get the best of one of them and qualify for state? Just wrestling smart, wrestling myself, and staying out of stupid positions and doing stupid things. Underwood's Nick Hamilton, a sectional champion, 138 pounds here today. Uh, Nick, just tell me what a sectional championship means to you. Uh, not too much. I, I still got two more tournaments left, uh, districts and states. So. Just kind of take me through your day. Was there anything offensively that was really working for you? Uh, just snap down, go behinds mostly. So. Tell me about that finals match with Tegan Lundquist, another highly ranked wrestler, but you kind of just controlled the match from the start. Uh, what was working for you in that match? Uh, same thing. Uh, just I got snap downs going and uh, got behind him. So just kept controlling that way. Tegan's the type of wrestler that likes to get a lot of takedowns. I think in a semifinal match he had something like 30 points, um, most of them off takedowns. Um, what were you doing defensively to prevent him from being able to get takedowns? Um, I don't know. Just I was just wrestling, uh, getting my hips back. I probably shouldn't have let him get to my legs as much as I did, but it is what it is. Has this freshman year been kind of what you thought it would be? I wasn't. I was just focus on wrestling so uh, it doesn't really matter what my record is I just wrestle as hard as I can so yeah as you said you've got two more tournaments left uh, anything you need to work on between now and then uh I don't know I'll talk to my coaches and watch the film uh so we'll, we'll go from there so yeah Trainers Brennan Maurer, a district qualifier after taking home the sectional championship at 182 pounds here in Riverside um, Brennan, just what does a sectional championship mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Uh, ever since freshman year, being a heavyweight and everything, I didn't get to wrestle at sectionals because of some uh, skin funk, you know, impetigo and stuff. But it's always been a goal of mine to be a state qualifier, and this is just one step of the way. Anything in particular today that you think you did really well that was a difference maker? Uh, just really getting all my shots. Uh, just having the confidence behind them and really getting in on them and being able to finish from there, that's uh, hard. A lot of people get stuffed down there, and I've been having some problems. Uh, just having the confidence with getting in there. I've been hanging in the tie-ups, but I was getting them off today, and it showed. Tell me about your finals match, just what was working for you in that match. Uh, I've wrestled him earlier in the season, so I knew. Uh, I actually did the same move that I did at WIC, the WIC conference. Uh, underhook to a knee blast right out of bounds when I rode him out. I knew that I'd... Uh, pin him with the head turk, so I put him in a cradle just like last time. One step closer to your goal of qualifying for the state tournament, and you'll have the chance to do that at districts next week. Uh, anything you're going to be working on between now and then? Uh, yeah, I got to work on my conditioning a lot. I want to break every opponent. I want to, I want to always be the one to push the pace and keep getting my shots off, and know that I'm in condition enough to finish them when I get in on there. Southwest Valley's Talon Myers, a sectional champion at 220 pounds here today. Uh, Talon, sophomore year in a sectional championship. Just what's it mean to get a sectional title here today? I mean, it feels good. The coaches push us in the room. feels really good to get it, though. Talk about offensively. Anything in particular that was working for you? Any one shot that was kind of your go-to? Uh, today, not really. I was just looking for something. I, got, I was looking for the ankle pick, but I didn't really get it. I was just looking for what he was doing wrong. I finally got around to the ankle. You got a pair of falls in the semifinal and then in the final as well. Uh, just what were you seeing there that allowed you to get those falls? Uh, I just kept going. Couldn't stop. I was out of gas in the second one, but couldn't stop. I knew I had to get something going. I just kept going. Last year you were a district qualifier but came up just a tad short of the state tournament. Uh, 
going into next week, you're going to have another good shot at it. Uh, what do you want to see from yourself? Anything you need to work on or anything this week? Yeah, I need to work on a lot of stuff. My base, getting up, getting out, reversals. Need to work on some takedowns and some underhook, hand control, all that stuff. Coach uh, Joe Stevens of Underwood, wow, just an impressive day for your team. 12 district qualifiers. Was this something you kind of thought was possible coming into today? Yeah, I thought that was the the goal was to get 12 to 14 guys. And, you know, we were a, a couple seconds away from having 13. So that, that was kind of a downer. But all in all, I thought the guys competed really well and did a good job and took care of what they needed to do today. This is a relatively young team. Uh, was this something that you thought was maybe a possibility when the season started a couple months ago? Yeah, these guys, even the young kids, they wrestle more matches in the summer than most guys do during the high school season. So it's you, you knew what you had when you go into it and would just try to develop them up and figure out what they do and try to help them make it better. Anything in particular you saw from your team that's maybe been an improvement throughout the season? Uh, absolutely. We're doing a lot better on bottom, um, which is something that was a goal that we needed to do to fix. And uh, we're doing a really good job of, you know, scoring from bottom. Uh, we're still, you know, have a long way to go on some different things. And we got two weeks to shore some things up for these guys for the state tournament. But we're doing a, doing a good job. Now, I know as far as regional duels go, you guys don't have any particular interest in them. But uh, what can we expect to see Tuesday night or what do you want to see from your team? Well, the guys that go compete, we want them, they're going to go out to compete. That's just everybody, the expectation is the same for everyone on the team. So um, guys that show up better be ready to go and go out and compete as hard as they can.